Yeah, so my, my pop started in meditation and martial arts, and then came to yoga, and then I do life coaching, and it's uh, it's sort of um, it's sort of a natural growth. Uh, martial arts and yoga are very similar. Uh, martial arts and yoga, you learn to become comfortable in uncomfortable situations. And life is going to put you in uncomfortable situations. And in jiu-jitsu, when somebody pins you down, and s if you tense, it's worse. If you relax, you can... Same in yoga. If you do a pose and you're all oh, tense, if you relax, you can get into the pose. And in life, it's like that. Sometimes life puts you in a knot, tries to squeeze you. If you fight like that, it's not going to help. It's actually relaxing and taking some space, taking some time, and you'll, you'll be able to make the right decisions and feel what's right in that time. That's why I, 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 I love meditation, martial arts, yoga. And I put that in my life coaching, because I extract the philosophy of this, the way of living. Because I don't need to fight, and I don't need to do great yoga positions. What, what I want to do, what I want to share, is the way, the benefits. How, how yoga, martial arts, meditation can learn you how to live. And if we can learn how to live in, more, in a more harmonious way, less struggling, being more compassionate, uh, less competition, it's, it's, it's going to be more, you're going to be more happy. Yes, absolutely. Yoga, the, the, the silence that we experiment in yoga, in the postures, um, this can be uh, used to know oneself, to discover oneself. You will need silence. If, you, if there's noise in the mind all the time, you're not going to know who you are because the noise is uh, mostly other people's voices. Things that you uh, you um, borrowed on the on the way of your existence. You borrow all these thoughts. You think those thoughts are yours, but they're not. They are not your thoughts. They're just borrowed thoughts. So you don't know who you are, and you are not your thoughts because they come and go. So experimenting silence and experiencing the space within, then you start. To see that you're not only this body, this mind, this personality, and that you're much more than that, and that you can have fun with this. You do not have to be this person that you thought you were. You can be more creative than that. And you've got much more possibilities than, than what people tell you what, you what you are. Even your genes, your, your personality doesn't define you. You're undefinable, and, and that you can only experience in silence.